Good afternoon ladies and gentlemen. Right we're back again with the uh, Whippet Diorama. As you can see it's all dry. I've uh, got the nice colour variations I was after. Slightly darker around by the riverbank but I can also moisten that down uh, once I get the acrylic, uh, sorry, the, uh, the water effect in there. But uh, that's quite a way off that yet. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to attempt to put some little patches of grass. Not a lot of grass, just patches of grass here and there. So all I've got is a bit of white PVA glue. Some people use the other stuff, I've just got the PVA, an old brush. And we are using, to start with, I'm going to use 6 milli, six millimeter static glass, which is the uh, autumn mix, which is 6mm, if you can read that in that. I've got that there, so that's what I'm going to start using. I've actually got some into the uh, little cup and the old static grass applicator which I've had for quite a while. And I'll put the other one away, which uh, the actual um, box as well, which Mr. Kemp kindly sent me quite a few months ago now, and I've used that a couple of times to make me, to make me, um, me tufts and things. So, what we'll do first is yeah, we'll get the, the, eight, the six millimeter uh, grass down, and I'm gonna put some two millimeter as well. As well, I'm gonna put some two millimeter down. So we'll get a different uh, you know, lengths of grass. So all I'm going to do firstly is just get a bit of PVA and just randomly actually what we could do with have been a slightly thicker that I reckon. And just put some more PVA in there. Yeah, just slightly slightly thicker than that, not really too thin. down there. Yeah so I'll just uh, try again. The PVA just randomly dot it around wherever you feel is going to be grass or lack of grass. There's going to be more lack of grass than anything else I would have thought. So I'll just yeah, probably to start with. There's a bit of grass over there. Right, so I think that'll do for that. So I don't tend to put a thing in there, I just tend to just touch the actual um, thing with a crocodile clip and it seems to work, so here we go. Probably need a couple of applications. Right, I think I should do that. I should just leave that for a while. Right, so I'll just give that uh, chance to sort of stick and then uh, I'll shake the excess off and I shall get back to you. So it won't be too long. Right, back. See, so yeah, I've done these other side and I've done the other side with two millimetre grass as well. I'm not happy with the colour, so I'm going to actually spray the grass. I'm going to change it, just darken it, uh, make it more dead looking because it looks a bit too 
I know it looks stark on the camera but it, it's not as stark as it looks but I'm not quite happy with the colour so I'm going to just let that dry up a little bit and then I'm going to just lightly spray it with a darker brown whether the uh, flat brown or the uh, the flat earth I think will probably be better just like a, a, a dusting of it I think more than anything else but apart from that it's okay so I've got a get little hoove which I've got one of them little uh, one of these things plug it into a USB port and uh, it'll suck up your grass it's got a little bag it filter in there which you clean to get your tech out if I can get to it and you have to press the button to it to get into it I'm too sure but yeah but yeah I've never used it so I don't even even if it works a couple of little attachments so you twist I twist off I see, I have used it, sorry, I beg your pardon, I did, I use it on my keyboard, on my, uh, on my PC. So let's have another go, see if I can repeat, see if I can, uh, give it a whirl, as they say. There's a locking mechanism. Never make things easy, do they? Never, never. Get one side in, the other side pops off. There we go. So let me just see if I can just bring my laptop round. Stick it in the USB connection. And let's see if he's got any power. There we do. So let's have a look. Ah, sure. <laughs> Not that I'll too good for it off the uh, off eBay. That's what he said it does. Yeah, <laughs> not bad for two quid, not bad at all. Let's have a look what it's collected. Well, let's put it onto my board there and I can put it back into the... Uh... Well, yeah, and a little winner that. Recommended. Let's tidy your little uh, diodes up. Two quid. No problem. Where's my little bit of grass? I'll put that back in a minute actually. So, yeah, so I'm going to let that dry a bit. I'm just going to give it a dusting with, um, I think, a flat earth. I think just to change, just, it's just a bit oomph, if you know what I mean. So, and then we can actually lay, oh, they're up there. I'm gonna, I've got some uh, uh, sticks and things and, th and like roots to come out on the, onto the riverbank and I've got some reeds to go in yet. Yeah as well so it's, it's starting to take for it's starting to take shape which is uh, which is good I'm happy it's uh, apart from that little bit of color that uh, it doesn't uh, float my boat that's not a big problem to sort out so we'll go from there I think so yeah so you've got all these little root in the garden obviously it's to be too big like the one at the moment but things like that uh, went into my garden not my garden, the wife's garden, and where did I I just brought them down, didn't I? Sure I did. Is this the roots? Ah, there they are. Thought I brought them down. Obviously I didn't. I'm a bugger for just picking things up that uh, 
on the ground in the garden or if I'm out. Because so, what I live in quite a, obviously I live in the Lake District which is quite uh, rural in places. And uh, I found this stuff. Don't know what it is, I haven't got a clue. Obviously a bit of thing in there, a bit of uh, sea form in there as well. This stuff, it's like a reed or a, I don't know, like a root. So I'll be putting, you know, breaking little bits off. Uh, cool them a slightly different. Those look a bit dead otherwise. Yeah, so break off quite easily, and then we can, you know, just have like as if it were the roots from trees that are, or you know, whatever's been in there. You can put that into the into the side, change the colour slightly, and you know, I've got some reeds as well to use, which are I've either got two choices. I've either got I've had this for such a long time I forgot I had it. I never used it yet. It's uh, it's a German company called I think it's Busch. Sounds German. And basically what it is, it looks like a shaving brush. Most people know what it looks like anyhow. This stuff. And you just pull, see if I wanted to pull a bit out. Just uh, just you just Pull it, a bit too much there. Just break bits off what you want. And again, I'll probably change the colour slightly, and you know, they'll be along the river bank as well. So, they'll get used. It'll come in handy that. So, I'll just pop that back in the box so I don't lose all the bits I pulled off. So I'll keep them down as well, so we know where we are. And I know there's no trees going to be on there, but I'm going to throw through throw a few bits of you know scattered some uh, a bit of um, forest scatter almost, just on, on the air, just to you know change the colour slightly as well. And all that is again is I uh, uh, where have I put that now? Here you go. Keep forgetting to find things and. And all this is here is the oh yeah. all this here is I collected a ton of leaves and I've done all the prints on the leaves with my little printer with my little uh, stamper thing and I collected all the leavings and I just whacked them all through the liquidizer and I've got you know leaf scatter by the amount of any I'd advise before before any you know summer get out there get a ton of leaves let them dry out put them in the oven slightly but not too long really let them dry so they're crispy put them inside the uh, the oven and sorry and inside the liquidizer and hey presto instant ground cover so I'll keep that down as well so things I've got so what I'll do now is I'll, say I'll just leave this for a bit just to set up a little bit then I'll um, give it a spray the grass just to change the colour very very slightly, not too much, just a little bit, just enough that I so I don't uh, unlike it, I should say, so I like it a bit better but um, we're getting there so I'm waffling again now, so I'll just leave it with me and we'll be back very very soon so this is Greg signing off and we'll see you soon Good afternoon ladies and gentlemen, it's Greg here again. I've skipped up a little bit. What I thought I'd do is I'd work on one side to see if I liked it and got it to, uh, which is this side obviously. So then I was going to actually do the plain side the same and show you what I've used. And how I've used it's nothing, nothing new. But obviously I'm quite happy with um, the ground covering. It's quite nice. Most of the stuff there is... Uh, Apart from the static grass is what I've collected from nature. But we'll see, we'll go through that and I'll show you how I've done that. The reeds are there we've bought. But you can use, I was going to use um, the big good paste brush that I do, well I don't do wall print, but uh, the missus does. Uh, she wouldn't let me have them, so I had to uh, purchase some. 
But yeah, so I'm, I'm quite happy with that. So what we'll do is we shall, uh, I'll get my things together and then we'll go ahead and we'll make that side, that side look like that side. So two seconds. Right, but let me just zoom in a little bit, see if we can get a... There we go. Right, so first what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some uh, of my homemade tufts. Uh, I don't use it, I used a couple of those, so we'll leave the, we don't need those. These are the ones that I've been using. So I shall put the lid back on that one for now. And we shall start with these pieces. This is just a different colour to blend the, I mean, you know, to blend the, basically to get more colour, so where's my tweezers? As normal, and not where you need them. Oh, yeah. So this is fairly straightforward, fairly straightforward, can hardly speak, it's bloody cold. Right, I've just been popping them in actually the, in, inside these uh, bits of grass that I've actually did with the static grass applicator. I just bury it in there to match it in and stuff around it, just bring around. Not on every piece of grass. Just ones that I fancy doing, not necessarily in the centre either, which I've just done again. Uh, what do you want about that? I think I say usually World War One is muddy, isn't it? But this is sort of getting to the front, if you know what I mean. This isn't the front, this is maybe. Transporting something to some, transferring some to somewhere else because originally, obviously, the picture I was working on this side was a barge, but it wouldn't have looked right in this, you know, on this with size diorama. So I've made just made it into a riverbank. But uh, I suppose there'll have been some mud somewhere, but not a great deal. Uh, do I like that there? I like that one there. I think just gives it, you know, a slightly different variation in the colours of the grass. In the big scheme of things, you're not going to really notice them too much. I'm going to try and blend them in. I've been talking to myself and you haven't been able to see what I've been doing. But try and blend them in as much as possible. Like so, and we've got a bit of white on that one there. Okay, so we'll put that there. And see the these. Uh, well, we've got the. You won't see better if I do it that. One, where the these are buried into the uh, into the soil. I was just thinking of putting a couple of these lighter green ones. Just, just. Just sort of, sort of around here, where there again, we can just blend that in again. And same with the other one on the other side, and then we'll turn them round, and I'll show you. How I'm going to fill the actual this gap in. As well, so let's just turn it round a little bit, like just so we can see. Oh. Yeah, it's, we're using the static grass, up, uh, the not the applicator, the uh, box. Oh, it's brilliant! You can make them so exact. The uh, the tufts. Just got this grease proof. Well, it's actually silicon paper I'm using now, and you just dob the uh, either PVA or like a tacky carpet tack adhesive. And it's brilliant, absolutely brilliant. It just really, really works well on it, and you can you can practically do anything with it. Like I say, that tree on the tree I made a few months ago that worked really well, which I haven't done one since actually. I've got a few trees to make, but I've been foraging for things for trees, but that'll be in a later video. 
Right, so I shall just put that back onto there for now. So I'll just put these little tufts away for now so I know where they are. Okay, so I've missed anything. But obviously we have the silicon as well to do for the sorry the, the resin for the uh, for the river. Let me just zoom out again slightly. Be able to see where I'm at. Yeah, and with this piece is here, where you can see the holes. That's easy. That's an easy fix. Is where's my little? There we go. You can see it. Let's just soften the brush again. I thought they washed it properly. Okay. Right, so all I'm going to do is just give it a bit of PVA on my brush and just dab it round that area. And again, round that little bit there. And all this is, I think I showed you, I'm not too sure. Been collecting the leaves and punching out the leaves, the brown um, leaves in winter. And what I had left is I put them through a liquid liquidizer and I've got all this ground scatter. So that's all I'm going to use. So this cost me nothing, just pick it off the off the roadside. So I'm just gonna fill that all in there with my grass stuff. Let me just make sure it goes down into the hole. There's a bit that escaped the uh, liquidizer. And another bit. I'll have to have words with that liquidizer, I thought I'd do it properly. Right, so I don't mind it being on there because obviously we're going to get some dust and crap on there anyhow. So let's see what the other side looks like. There's a little bit of PVA in there. sprinkle so this is just not rocket science I say most people do exactly the same probably better than me but you know this is all just sort of working off a loose picture really not it's not exactly like you keep saying there should be uh, a barge that the uh, the whippet was actually going to uh, We're going to go on to. Let's just twist this bit round here so I can see it along here. There again. Let's just make sure we get all the way. Bits out. Right, so that's that hidden. So what I'm going to do now again is I'm just going to go around with a bit of PVA glue and random Luckily PVA dries clear so it's just as well with that. <laughs> I'll do this one side first and then uh, we'll go from there. Oh, my 
actually a whole lot there, aren't we? I've got the glue in my hand. Right, so yeah, now just sprinkle it on to where we've got the glue. It blends in nicely with that uh, with that now. So I'd advise you before winter completely finishes and if you've got any brown leaves get them. You can either put them in the oven on a warm, you know, put the oven on and then uh, knock it off. Spread the leaves out on a tray and uh, leave them to really go really dry. Really, really dry. Otherwise uh, it's not going to work. A bit more there. Just down there. Right. Okay. So I'll put that back, that's fine. And the last bit I think I put on for the ground scatter. Let's see, I've made a boo-boo there. I put a few more of these grass tufts on, didn't I? The actual green ones as well, just on the uh, just on the uh, just endeavour to find some places to put them. I'm not sticking. Maybe there. Mm. Put a hair on that one there. Just gives you a bit more colours, I think, really, doesn't it? More than anything. Let's have a very one down there. Just on the water's edge. Yeah, one there, I think. And maybe one about here. So these, I should have probably left these till last. That's not a problem. Just uh, missed a bit there, so let me just get me the PVA again. Just a little bit round.
So this is all dry, I can uh, turn it upside down and get all the rubbish off that. That hasn't set. And the final thing I put on there is mixed herbs. So sprinkle mixed herbs, because you get a green hue off them as well. And hopefully these should stick as well. I'm going to put a bit of I found, I've got to, I actually bought myself a new uh, a new spray, so it should work in a minute. What I do? Right, that's for that bit, that's for that bit. Let's put the tufts away for now. So, all I do now is uh, spray a bit of, if it will stay on that, PVA. I should have really let it settle a bit, but it should be alright. Dampen it all down. Okay. Whew. That stinks. And let's see what kind of uh, spray we've got on this thing this time. So clean the filter out. So. That's it. A little bit. So I'm just gonna not spray it as such. This is just to make sure it sticks down, I suppose. It may seem a bit silly putting the glue on first, but we'll see. You live, you live by your mistakes and learn by your mistakes, don't you? So, you know, I don't pretend to be a professional model, modeler or anywhere near that sort of level. I do it for my pure enjoyment, and that's all I do, do it for. Right, so. If there's any extra PVA on there, let's just get a cloth to wipe it. One of these big industrial rolls I bought. And my dad had in his shed. So I claimed it. Nobody else wanted it, so I claimed it. Right, so that's all we can do with that at the moment. We'll leave that to dry. And when we come back we'll see what it's dried like and then we're going to put some probably, if I can find them, and, see I showed you last time, I've got these things here, they're like a vine, I'm closely at them, let me just see if I can, like a, I was thinking about putting some of them along, you can see the, the posables, you can bend them like a, not like a way you can bend them to a certain degree but I'm not too sure on them here, I don't like the colour, but I can always change the colour if I do decide. And I've got all those, you know, that I make roots out of on the uh, on the bank side. So I'll do that off camera. And then when I come back, that'll be dry. I complete, I'm going to give it a good 24 hours to dry so everything's set and everything. And go around cleaning things up um, and then we're going to start thinking about pouring the resin for the river. So, we shall catch you very soon. Right ladies and gentlemen, back again. <coughs> While the uh, dial was, has been drying, I uh, decided to do the tracks. Well, part of the tracks, I'm going to show you how I did the tracks in a minute. Uh, I know they were slightly weathered when I put them on, but I've just slightly changed them ever so much. So what I've done is I've got them to this stage, and up with the skirts as well. I'm just going to bring that forward slightly, there we are. The it's, you know, that's all I've done with it, and I'll show you how we're done that in a minute. I'll just say it's, it's worked out quite well. I'm quite happy with that. So 
which are going to be this is the same so I'm going to incorporate onto the uh, the wood when it's onto the dio so I thought I'd do that while the uh, the diorama was uh, drying so what I did was I got some in fact I'll do it we'll do, we'll do it together on here so I'll just move this out of the way for now while we do it pestle and mortar so what I'm going to put in here some mixed herbs some of the grounds got the, the leaves some static grass which I haven't got down unfortunately oh, sorry about that, cloud and bloody thing on there uh, where are we are, is it this one? Yeah, it's this one here patchy grass it was patchy grass right, so just Break it up because you see sometimes the, the actual static grass comes in. It's like it's almost like little blocks, and it's just best to grate them up with your fingers. So let me just pop that up there back for that. So and then all we're going to do now is get the old pestle and just just grind it up a little bit. Now just to break the leaves down a little bit. Some of them are on the chunky side. Which you can pick out. It's the slightly too big. Won't let it break down. Right. Let's pull it into into here. Got one part, it doesn't really make much difference. I can put it in now. Oh, bloody cold, hate the bloody thing. Right, I remember when I uh, that's what I did for the track mix originally. You know, when I did the uh, I made the own mix up again from basically from the uh, Cromlech. Uh, trench earth. So I'll just put a bit of that in there as well. Don't need too much. We'll give that a good mix. So we've got all sorts in there. There we go. So all I've got is a consistency of sort of things like that. The leaves and you know I pick I can pick the big bits out if they're too big when I'm putting them on. So let's bring the uh, the whip it back in. And we can start doing the problem there. So all I did was use this to say we're talking about the new Alclad pigment fix. I thought I'd try it. It, was, I mean, it does work quite well. That's the Alclad pigment fixer and it's ALCWP-015. I don't need a lot. There's my little brush that I need to put it on with. Let's clean the bloody thing. Best of all, I'm just working. All I've been doing is working in uh, stages. I didn't do it all in one go. There's no point. 
So it's dampened the, the track links. It's no different to anybody else's. I just thought I'd show you how I did it on this one and then just drop it on basically. And whatever sticks, sticks, and and then again, when we come to the end of the tracks, you can just pack it in as much as best you can. So it's fairly straightforward, I'll leave it again. That needs to be sorted out underneath there. I think it's a bit too much looseness on that part, but that's no problem. We can sort that. Right, so again. This seems to be good stuff, this. I must admit, I'm quite. Uh, Quite pleased with it. You don't have to try and pack it in as much. You don't really have to pack it in because it's loosely. It? It's been where I've been across the day, and now it's going onto the wood, onto the, uh, the sort of the two big uh, timber logs. That it's crossing the uh, small stream with. And you've got all sorts in there. You've got the leaves. You've got the pigments. You've got the the, the grass. You've got everything in there. See what I was doing, could we? Like I say, you don't have to pack it in, just give it a little, you know, a little sort of a Let's come round at this bit here to do this bit because I won't be able to see what I'm doing. So we've got to that stage. Let me just put my lid on me uh, thing for now. So we got it to there at the moment. So I'm going to do. I'm just going to. I've got to do the bottom bit, which is that bit here. Which is. Let me just see if I can get a better light on it. There we go. It's a better light. Uh, again, it's all around the track top. So I'm going to put a little bit round. On the top of there, I'm not sure yet. Just bits around the tracks. It's dried right quite nicely, that. I'm quite happy with that way it's come out. And if you say if you don't feel as if it's uh, if it's too much on there, you can always sort of just you know take some bits off, the bigger bits that you don't want on there, like so. I've got the tow cable to put on there yet, and I want the tow cables on this tank. That's the tank actually completed. Um, let me just see again. So that's that's the completed side. Obviously, it looks a lot little lighter, dries a lot lighter than the than that side. So what I'll do is I'll continue doing up to in the, the mud shoots and a bit round the tracks and obviously underneath here because you can see a bit underneath. Uh, and then I'll get back to you and that, and then we'll go from there after that. So I'll see you very soon. Right, we're back. So it's all done now. This needs to dry. I'm going to be quite, quite to the inside there as well, inside the sponsons on that side. And if you can make it out on, let me just bring this light up here. Let's see. I've done it inside the Underneath the uh, 
decolo, well, there's no decolo the paint job, and then on the tracks, just need to do a few more once I get it positioned onto the uh, diorama just to finish off just underneath here where there's some to go. So, what I'm going to do now basically is uh, finish this off with that, you know, the track stuff. I'm just going to lightly put a few. the camera out out okay let's bring the light in here all right okay so what I'm going to do now is just go along not a lot on my brush just oh it's will be two seconds sorry about that I thought my phone was ringing so all, yeah all I'm going to do is just give this where well, there's little bits of I'll just ignore it. I can't be bothered getting up in that now. You just put a few little powdery bits into some of the uh, not a lot. There you go, just things like that. Not a lot, just a light view into some sort of where it would collect really. Just a little bit of dust. I'm not going to even use pigment fix on it at the moment, it's going to. And then I'm going to fasten the. Uh, The tow cables will be going on. A little bit of dust around here. I can't quite see what I'm doing there, can you? Let me just pull that back. Not a lot. Right, I think all I've got to do now is when I get into my me, me black pigment, which I can't find at the moment, I don't think I've got it out, have I? Aha, I have. Tell a lie. The, the Leo carbon smoke, let's just wash this brush out. And like I said yesterday, with the, ex well, before, the exhausts, they need a, just a little touch of. Just a little touch of black around the edges of the front, I'll try not to uh, get it on the track. Side. Let's bring it in a bit, I think. Can't quite see what I'm doing, can you? Okay. Right. And on this side here, as well, where we can see, I may just put a little touch of pigment fixer just on this piece here because I want. Just to stick on the on to onto the casement as it's blowing out, it'll uh, not a lot. But driving down the bloody track. What did I just say? I'll have to 
blow it off there. This is just useless. Do one thing and do the opposite. I think I'll do it on this side as well. And then again, just a, a little thing on that. Well, so you can see now I've got the where the exhaust where we are where we are where we can't quite see there can we let me just move it out the way let's just see if I can bring it in there we go just a little bit along the casement there just on the edge I'll dust a bit of that off because it looks a bit too much but where that dries a little bit and dust it off. You can see the green on the uh, static grass and the mud and the uh, and the broken down leaves and the mixed the mixed herbs. So it'll smell nice anyhow. At least the tank will smell nice. So as far as the tank is concerned, apart from the um, the tow cables, that is it done. So let me just zoom out again. Oh show you one more go around what I'll do actually let me just two seconds and I'll find my little uh, turntable and we'll just let it go around for a bit and you can see right let's just give it a little whirl around and you can see what's uh, before it goes onto the dio It'll work there we go yeah I enjoyed this build so the dio is still to come obviously to go onto the dio but apart from the tow cables um, we shall call this bit finished and this will be the end of seven Day 7 and we'll start update 8 with uh, final weathering of the, uh, the wood and of course the pouring of the resin for the, uh, the muddy stream and uh, I've dig that out of the shed which I'm not allowed to keep in the house because it stinks but uh, generally speaking I really did enjoy this little build thoroughly thoroughly enjoyed it for 25 quid you can't go wrong fit perfect only thing was is the tracks do click together but they don't hold, you know, they're, they're quite delicate, but it's easy enough fix. Like I did, I just put a bit of the old uh, contactor, the, you know, the Rebel contactor adhesive on there, uh, and just let it soak in a while, and then I uh, put it around the track, put it around the, uh, the sponsons, and it worked quite well. So, happy, 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 and it was uh, most of it. Only, only added thing to it is that roll at the top, and the fuel cans and that bit of chain that's all sorry and the thread around the exhaust pipe but all the rest of it's straight out of the box there's no uh, nothing extra to it if I would, I'd love to build it again I, might, I may even build it again at some point um, I'm not too sure but I never know I might do so yeah so it's quite nice I thoroughly enjoyed it recommend buying it I really do we first sort of foray into World War One I recommend it. I recommend it. So I have a few figures to go. I've started doing the figures for the diorama, but I'll show you all that on the next update. So I hope you've enjoyed so far what I've been doing, and uh, please uh, leave any comments, good or bad. You know, I'm here to learn, listen. You know, I'm sure the people have better ideas to do what I've done. Make it easier, more simpler, or you know, any advice would be great. So I think, uh, I think I'm, sure, I'm almost certain this is the end of update. Let me just check. I can never remember. 
of update. Where are we at? Seven. This will be the end of update seven. So this is Greg signing off, and um, we'll be back very shortly with the uh, final update and the pouring the resin and the final tweaking. So we'll catch you very, very soon.